time, it's my pleasure to yield one and a half minutes to the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Womack, who is a member of the Appropriations Committee. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized for a minute and a half. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today's payday. It's Friday. For a lot of people, it's payday. Uh, they're going to get a check from their employer if they're lucky enough to have a job. And I'm sure for most of them, before ever cashing that check, they know exactly where it's going. These people have likely already come to the realization that there are a lot more needs, a lot more things they'd like to have or do, but there's just so much money. I find it incredible that my friends on the other side of the aisle believe this federal government should not have to go through the same process of discerning between what they want and what they need and what they can afford, like the rest of America. In the 10 plus months I've been here, I consider this vote the most important vote I will have cast because it's the vote that has the most impact on the future of my grandson. It is sad that Congress does not have the discipline to live within its means. And I strongly believe the only way to constrain an undisciplined Congress is to enshrine its obligation in the Constitution. An overwhelming majority of Americans believe that the balanced budget amendment as proposed today is the right way forward for America. I thank my friend, Mr. Goodlatte, for his leadership on the issue, and I urge its passing, and I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from